This is the CBS Evening News. Bob Schieffer reporting. Good evening. Efforts to clean up the biggest oil spill in U.S. history are stalled tonight off Alaska. And Alaska's governor says there is not enough equipment in the entire country to contain the mess that is now five miles long and three miles wide. The spill occurred after an Exxon oil tanker ran aground early Friday. No explanation yet as to why that happened, but police have given the captain and top crewman blood tests now to determine if they'd been drinking. John Blackstone's in Alaska and has our report. The Exxon Valdez continues leaking oil into Prince William Sound, an estimated 11 million gallons so far. And still, the cleanup has barely begun. A handful of boats and men are working to mop up an oil spill, now estimated to spread over some 40 square miles. The seas are too calm for chemical dispersants to work. The chemicals are much like soap and need the agitation of waves to break up oil. What remains on the grounded tanker is being pumped off into another ship. Alaskans, right up to the governor, are critical of the slow pace of the cleanup. The evidence is that the response was slow and, in and inadequate. Uh, I think that's... At a meeting last night, residents of Valdez said in the first critical hours it seemed nothing was done to contain the gushing oil. At 2.30 this afternoon, there wasn't even a Kleenex in the water. The fishing industry is a very important industry in this area and nothing is being done to protect the areas of our industry that are in danger right now. Equipment to fight this spill has to be flown in from as far away as Texas and England. Those supplies began arriving only today. The weather here remains unusually calm and that has helped to keep the oil from spreading ashore in any volume. But there are worries here that the wild beauty of this land is threatened and that sea life from plankton to whales is in danger. I don't want to uh, pretend that there is any substitute for not having a spill. Uh, once that stuff is out in the water, we have a problem. Despite the spill, Prince William Sound today is still busy with sea lions. Eagles are still gliding over the sound, and otters still playing amidst the ice. The Exxon Valdez was trying to avoid floating chunks of ice when it went off course, but the ship then continued far off course in what seems to have been a human error. So there was no rudder failure, there was no power failure. Uh, so I think we will need, when we get into it, we will need to address the, the actions in navigating the vessel. Prince William Sound is virtually an inland body of water. Only narrow passages between islands lead to the open sea. So this biggest oil spill in American history will not wash out to sea. The oil is trapped here inevitably to leave environmental scars of dimensions that cannot yet even be estimated. John Blackstone, CBS News, Valdez.